It's time for another edition of High Round! The game where players compete to answer the questions that I think of. You can play with your family, your friends, or even yourself. It's up to you, because what you do in the privacy of your own home is your business. Players will be asked a series of 10 questions and will need to write their answers down in sequential order. Answers may be written on anything you can find. Paper, your desk, even your friend's face. We don't care. Just write the answers down. The person who answers the most questions correctly is the winner. What a surprise. Should your game end in a tie, play again. Flip a coin. Rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock. I don't care, but there are no ties in highbrow. This isn't soccer. Play will begin after the countdown. If these instructions are too complicated for you to understand, you probably shouldn't be playing this game. Today's category is hodgepodge. Players, get ready. Solve this equation. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. Play begins after, after the countdown. Good luck, you're gonna need it. One. What is the best-selling album of all time? Two. In computer terminology, what does WWW mean? Three. Who is the oldest human being to ever live? Four. How much does a thousand dollars worth of gold cost? Five. What was the highest grossing film of 2019? Six. On the hit television show Friends, what actress played the character Ursula Buffay? Seven. What was the first home video game console? Eight. Who wrote the poem, Yellow River? Nine. What popular cartoon series was originally titled, Who's Scared? And was rejected by CBS because the artwork was too frightening for children. What restaurant chain invented bubblegum flavored broccoli? Gross. Okay, players, it's time to find out who lost. Give me that answer sheet. Let's get this over with. The best-selling album of all time was released on November 30th, 1982 and peaked at number one on the Billboard 200. By the end of 1983, it was the world's best-selling album, having sold 32 million copies worldwide. To date, it has sold over 47 million copies. The album, Thriller by Michael Jackson. The album produced seven hit singles like Billie Jean, Beat It, Thriller, and The Girl Is Mine, which all reached the top 10 on the Billboard Hot 100. In computer terminology, what does WWW mean? It means what went wrong. I'm just kidding. It means who, what, when. That's all people use it for. That's the only, they're staring at their phones all day long and they're wondering who, what, and when. That's it. 
Okay, I'm, I'm kidding. It really means World Wide Web. World Wide Web is the answer. Who was the oldest human being to ever live? The answer is Methuselah. He was the son of Enoch, the father of Lamech, and the grandfather of Noah. He lived for 969 years, and the only things that were older than him were dirt and God. How much does a thousand dollars worth of gold cost? One thousand dollars. What was the highest grossing film of 2019? With worldwide box office sales of two billion seven hundred and ninety seven million dollars. Avengers Endgame. Not only was it the highest grossing film of 2019, it's also the highest grossing film in history. On the hit television show Friends, what actress played the character Ursula Buffay? Now this is kind of a fun one and a little bit of a tricky one. Because Ursula Buffay was the twin sister of Phoebe Buffay, played by Lisa Kudrow. Now, before Friends got going, Lisa Kudrow played the character Ursula Buffay on another show called Mad About You, where she was a, just this dingbat waitress. Uh, but they decided to just incorporate her into Friends too, and they even had the cast from uh, Mad About You come over and do a cameo on Friends. So I thought that was that was pretty fun that they kept that character going so she could be in both shows at the same time. What was the first home video game console? On January 27th, 1972, Magnavox launched the Odyssey video game console, the world's first home video game system. Priced at $100, the Odyssey utilized simple black and white graphics enhanced by plastic overlays for the television screen. The Odyssey was extremely clunky and not very challenging. It also suffered from marketing materials that implied it could only be used on Magnavox brand televisions. As a result, the Odyssey sold only 200,000 units over its three-year life. Who wrote the poem, Yellow River? All right, this is a good one. This is a shout out to my dad who told me this in second grade. It was just awesome. Yellow River by IP Freely. I know, I know it's corny. <laughs> I had to give something to my dad, man. Rest in peace. Anyway, Yellow River by I.P. Freely. What popular cartoon series was originally titled Who's Scared? It was rejected by CBS because the artwork was too frightening for children. That show was Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo, the series was originally rejected by CBS, CBS executives who thought the presentation artwork was just too frightening for, for children, so the show must be the same. But one of the executives, Fred Silverman, he, he kind of liked it, but on his way home, uh, on a flight, he was listening to Frank Sinatra and the song Strangers in the Night. And there's this part in the song that goes... Shooby dooby doo, and he thought, "Oh man, that's that's great." So he just changed it to Scooby Doo. Um, but after the show was rejected, they made some changes, and Hanna Barbera decided that the dog should be the star of the show instead of the four kids, and they renamed it Scooby Doo after the Frank Sinatra song, and they toned down the spooky, scary, and tuned up the comedy, and uh, Scooby Doo became the centerpiece for the CBS 1969 to 1970 Saturday morning cartoon season. What restaurant chain invented bubblegum flavored broccoli? McDonald's. McDonald's created bubblegum flavored broccoli in 2014 as a way to try and get kids to eat healthier. The vegetable creation didn't exactly surprise or delight its intended audience. Instead, it confused the young focus group and the idea was scrapped. That sounds disgusting. Okay, players, pins down. How'd you do? I only got two right. You'd think I'd have gotten more, considering that I made up the questions, but I only got two. I got the Methuselah one and the one about the Yellow River. So that's it. Everything else, just 
nothing. Nothing at all. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to like and subscribe, and you too could have a chance to be a part of 10 million. Good night, everybody. I'm going to get a drink.